Hi, thanks for watching Dr. Linda Kramer. Today's video is called How Permission, Boundaries and Spiritual Consent Works. So there's three things there, permission, boundaries and spiritual consent. They are all different, by the way, but they all have one word in common. Now, before I go through the three types of the things that I've just listed, permission, boundaries, and spiritual consent, what is spiritual consent? Ooh, stay by. I'm going to talk about all this today. So the first thing is we've got to look at that flip side. I ask someone permission to do something, yeah? So I'm gaining their consent. I'm asking, do you mind if I do this, okay? But there's also that flip side where somebody asks me. So then it's my decision. So there's that flip side, okay? So permission, that's generally something that we all understand, right? I ask permission if I can drive to the beach with a friend. So I ring and ask them, hey, do you want to go with me today? That's asking permission if they want to come with me, yes? So we've got these situations where we know what permission is. Am I permitted to go into that sports arena when it's empty and it's all locked up? So they have those boundaries. So what are boundaries? Boundaries is when we make up the rules of what we do and do not allow. And again, it works on the flip side. So we go to that sports arena where it's all locked up with the 55,000 seats inside and they've got that rule where it says no one's permitted unless there's a sports game going on, right? Yes. But how often do we set those boundaries in ourselves where we do or don't allow others to do things towards us or with us or for us? Okay, so that's our boundaries, working out what our boundaries are. Okay, um, so then we go into spiritual consent, which is a big one. You may not know this one, but the whole three of these are all connected by one word. So what is a spiritual consent? A lot of people come and see me or they have Zoom, Skype, Facebook Messenger calls with me and they say to me, oh Linda, my brother-in-law is really sick. Can you please pray for him? No, I can't. What? What? If I send out healing to the whole planet at this point, is that against universal laws? Yes, it is. What? What? I thought we could just send out love and energy to everybody. No, we can't. Because it all comes down to free will and everybody's permission, boundaries and their consent. So when people ask me, oh my God, you know, I've got a son. He's going through a lot of trouble at this point. Can you please send him some rational love from the universe? No, I can't. Unless... He actually asks me himself or he grants me permission from somebody else. So someone can ask, you know, like if I've got a friend and I say, oh, do you mind if I ask this psychic today if they can pray for you? Then that person has the yes or no definitive answer, okay? Because it all comes down to free will. We all have life contracts we all have lessons to learn, yes? And how do we know some of those lessons aren't about things like how to overcome judgment, how to overcome mental health, how to overcome um, victim mode, where we're always relying on other people to look after us because we haven't got self-responsibility. So <clears throat> it all comes down to permission boundaries and spiritual consent. I do have prayer lists that I go through every night when I meditate and I always ask permission from those who I pray for. If I ever send out healing, love and light to somebody, I always ask their permission. 
So if you do ever hear me saying, I'm going to send love and generosity and kindness and, and appreciation and respect to everyone on the planet, you've got to realize I only give it to those who have actually got, asked me in the past for their consent to do it for them. Okay? Because we don't know what other people's decisions are. We don't know what their free will is. And ultimately, we don't know what their life lessons are in this life contract that they're living at the moment, right? So it all comes down to one word. And that word is respect. Respect. So if I ask someone's permission to do something, I'm actually showing them respect by appreciating their decision. If somebody asks me permission to do something, that's them offering me that respect that they're giving me that option to say yes or no. When we look at boundaries, that is all about respect. Because when we have a rule of our house, let's just say our rules of our house, we all have rules in our house, what people can and can't do in your house. So if they break those rules, then that's a sign of disrespect, yeah? And then in spiritual terms, of spiritual consent, it's me respecting all those other people on the planet to have their own free will in what they do or don't allow to exist in their own world, okay? So please, guys, remember, it all comes down to respect, okay? So... Ultimately, how do we gain consent is to ask. Be honest and open with people. Do you mind if I do this? You don't just walk into someone's house and, I don't know, let's just go there, start a fire with their furniture. That's showing disrespect, yeah? So, Setting those boundaries with ourselves, that was a bad example, I really don't like that one. Oh my God, please don't ever do that, okay? So when we sit there and we ask ourselves, do I, Linda, give myself permission to do whatever? Do I, Linda, give myself consent to do whatever? Do I, Linda, give myself spiritual consent to pray for others, to send out healing love? Do I ever show disrespect to anybody? Because it's only when we look at ourselves and we say to ourselves, am I doing this behaviour that's then rippled out and it's mirrored to others where they're doing it to me. So it all comes down to our own self-responsibility of what we put out there. If we show respect, we will get respect back. If we give people that consent to know what their rules are or their boundaries they will then respect our boundaries, yes? So it all comes down to respect, okay? So if you look at Google and say, what is respect? There's a lot of information out there. But basically, it's allowing the other people to be what rules and boundaries they have set, Okay, at this time in 2021, there's a lot of people out there all trying to force their beliefs, their knowledge, their research, their thoughts even onto others. So there's a lot of people out there at the moment disrespecting everybody else. I share my information for those willing, with their consent, to read it. We can do that, but we can't force it onto people. We can't expect or try to control what they do. Okay? 
So <clears throat> if you are in a situation with a partner or a family member, co-worker, neighbour, other family member, good friend or something, and you're sitting there saying, wow, this person always breaks my rules, my boundaries. They're always doing things without my permission. Have a look at yourself. Are you actually doing this as well? And they are reflecting off you through that mirror effect. Now, if you don't know what the mirror effect is, stand by, because that's another video coming shortly. Okay? So, guys, just allow people to do what they want. Let them have their free will to make their own rules, boundaries. They can, they've got their own permission to do what they want, right? Just allow them to be who they are. Don't try and force anybody through that control. Because remember, control is only ego. It's something we expect. And that is so negative. The only person that we can expect anything from is us. Have a good day, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.